Hello everyone, Scott Henderson with MindPlace. I had a user ask on the forum how to grab a certain section of a spectrostrobe track, one of the factory sessions, and just pull out a certain part and then loop that. And I'm going to show you how to do that quickly. This will probably be in two parts, one for Mind Workstation and one for um, Audacity. First part on Audacity. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to my GitHub account here. There's the link. I'll put a link in the description. You need to download the Audacity My Machine Suite. This is a bunch of plugins that I've made and effects presets and such. Now you can get documentation here on the wiki part on how to install it. Now for those of, that have downloaded it before, I made a recent change right before this video where I needed to I'll edit the notch filter on the factory one in Audacity 2.1.1 to expand the range. They changed it between 2.1.0. So you'll need to at least get that one again. And it's in a replacement Audacity plugins folder. I might branch off into another version, but that's what I did for now. So what you want to do is you've got and installed all your plugins. And that'll take a little bit of work, but then you want to get your session that's called center.mp3 is the one he's looking at in the uh, rejuvenate folder. Copy it to your hard drive. You don't want to work on the one on the factory card and uh, hopefully you're backing up your cards because the editor makes that easy to do. You want to open it here in Audacity. All right, so this is the audio file with Spectrostrobe. From the factory set. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to extract the spectrostrobe, but we're going to go ahead and duplicate this just so I can show you um, how to do it both ways. Now, this one would be, I'm going to name them, this one's going to be the spectrostrobe, and this one's going to be the music when we're done. Okay, so now what we need to do is go through and apply a chain that's included in that download. And we want to apply the high pass chain. Now what the high pass is going to do is just leave the highs of the audio. Alright, so just quickly before I do that, let me have you look at the plot spectrum here. You can see there's the music. There's the spectrostrobe. So this is the reference. This is the red. This is the green. This is the blue. And we want to remove the music. And that's what this filter will do. So apply chain. ABS high pass. Which will leave only the highs. Which is the spectrostrobe. Works on audio strobe too. By the way. Okay. So that's done. Now we can look at our spectrum again. And see that music's gone. So we're going to do the opposite now on the music track itself. We're going to eliminate the spectrostrobe but keep the music. And you do that with the other one, the high pass or the AVS low pass in that case. So you apply that one. Takes just a second and then. Grab you a little bit of the audio to analyze. And you can see there's still a little bit left. So we could run that again. And just run it as many times as you need to eliminate it all. In this example, it won't hurt to leave some of it. But that's how you do it. You just keep applying it till it's gone. See, we just have a little ref left. So if I ran it one more time, then it would be gone for sure. Which would just take a second, so I might as well do it. That way the signals won't collide with each other. All right. So... If you have too much selected, it warns you you have to select the beginning. Just a 274 seconds of audio or something like that. 
Okay, so there it is. That's the spectroscope. That's the music. So if you played this whole session together, then you're basically reproducing the factory set, except you have control now. So what we want to do from here is we want to extract the reference signal. So we want to, and we do that because it, we don't want them to collide, right? So you want to do the SS ref notch remove. You want to apply that. Now you're going to have to do this one a number of times to completely get rid of that ref. So just do it a couple more times. It's the one at the bottom, F S ref, SS ref notch. A notch filter is a filter that removes certain frequencies within the bands that you set. And these chains make the settings for you. So let's look at our spectrum now after two iterations. And we see that, see there's still a ref signal left, but it's kind of much lower in the mix. But let's do that. I'll probably... If I really wanted to eliminate it, I'd probably have to do it two or three more times. But I don't think I will that much in this video. At least not while you're watching. Alright. Let's do at least one more. Oops. And then that'll certainly get it below the level where it has an effect. But it still may not have totally eliminated it. There is a equalization plugins that you can use too, but I can't uh, do those as a chain. Or I can, but I can't be sure of where the user puts them. So it's still there a bit, but it's okay. Um, now, the user wanted from 17 to 21 seconds. So, I can make my selection here. Uh, 17 seconds. And then the length of the selection is going to be 4 seconds. Okay, and then I'll zoom in to be able to see. Uh, it's at minutes, four minutes. I don't want that. Let me back up now. What did he say, actually? Yeah, he said 17 seconds and 21 seconds. I was reading the forum post. So I need to back up to there. We're kind of zoomed in tight. There it is. When you're zoomed in tight and you're on a trackpad. Ah, it keeps popping back. Stop, dude. There. All right. Now... From what I'm seeing, that's either a really low volume section or a blank. So if we were to expand that, when he's saying it's from 17 to 21, you could see in the audio that that's not correct. Now, of course, I know he's just making a guess. But I would say it would be more so... 20 and then you want to find out where that wave ends let's zoom out just a little bit more kind of crazy right now yeah so 20 till somewhere in this range so 40 
and a half or something like that, 44. And again, you'll, you'll just have to go into detail to see. And it actually could mean, see, this is the intro. So I don't know. Again, I'm just going to show you how to do it. You can figure out what you want to do. But let me grab from, say, 20 there. Until about the middle of this wave where you can see it fade in and fade out. Yeah, so let's try about right there. All right. And we want to copy that. Create a new document. And then paste it. Okay, so it's 23 seconds long. Now, see how there's this kind of fade in and fade out. Which you may not want. You certainly don't want this beginning part of blank. Um, and you'd probably want to go ahead and fade out at the end. You know, you're trying to create a loop. That's the hard part. But, you know, you'll just have to experiment. And then if you got more questions, ask. So I'm trying to keep these videos a, a decent length. So that's all I'm going to do for now. I've copied this. Now, if I wanted to actually play it back, if I play back on the casino right now, it's not going to play because it doesn't have the spectra. It's not going to play a spectra stroke for sure. Um, so what you want to do in that case is it's 22 seconds long. You can see that down here by selecting it. So you want to generate, you want to create a new track, add new stereo track, generate spectra strobe reference generator, and then put in the total length of 22 seconds and then hit that and then go into apply chain and there's a spectra strobe ref LFO that's what will give it the um, well I mean there it is going to beat the dead horse. I'm going to edit chains. Ref LFO. I don't know, dude, what that was. See, uh, in this Audacity update, it seems like they've changed some of these plugins. They've, they're going into real-time previews, and they must have a cha changed them. So I really need to go through and remake all these plugins, I guess, or something. What I had to do is select it and then edit it. Edit the parameters, and then it was happy. So I don't know what the heck that was about. But anyway, now it's we'll play a spectra strobe, and you can play it in a loop, loop play with shift space, and see if that's what you want. Now we'll go to the mind workstation part of it. Actually, what we want to do is we want to select this track, and we want to export audio. Uh, actually export selected audio and then on the desktop we'll name that uh, center blue cycle 
All right, and save it as a wave file. Don't worry about any of that. All right, so that concludes the Audacity part. Now we'll go into the Mime Workstation part.